Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Jennifer Aniston's Beachscape. This perfume launched 2016 this year and is the fourth fragrance in the Jennifer Aniston fragrance lineup. Um, this is probably one of the most requested new launches besides like Sweet Like Candy and Rihanna's Crush that you guys have asked for. And I was very, very, very surprised. Um, and I'm sorry it's taking me this little bit to get you guys the review. So, the box looks like this this time. And on the side we have over here it says um, Beachscape Jennifer Aniston. And then we've got the same ad that is on the J box, which it kind of bothers me. But we also have like the kind of like the sea foam um, green and it's actually like sea foam on the front of the box. And then it's just right on top and it says Jennifer Aniston. And the back has a picture of the bottle and that same kind of um, sea foam on it. So this fragrance only is currently available in a one ounce. So the bottle looks like this. The fluid is colored this time. And um, like her original one where the fluid was colored. And it's kind of like a light sea foamy green. I love, love, love doing this promo picture. And it's actually probably one of my favorite ones. It's up in the top favorites because of it just kind of flows really well with the like the fragrance and it being in the beach and so on and so forth. So, this one is, I don't want to say similar to the first one, but it has kind of a little bit more of a similarity to the first one than the, the other two did. So, we open up with notes of grapefruit, passion fruit, and gr wet green notes. Middle notes are freesia, orange flower, and ginger lily with the base notes of sandalwood and cedarwood. So there's no musk, there's no patchouli, there's no heavy. This is very much a very light and beachy fragrance. When you first, first, first spray it, I do get that kind of like citrusy burst of the grapefruit with a passion fruit kind of adding a little bit of a zing behind it. Um, but you do get those green notes. Those green notes definitely are there. And you're getting kind of those from the very, 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 very beginning. Um, it definitely dries down. You get that freezer, you get the orange flower, and the ginger lily. And the ginger lily kind of adds a little bit of a spice. It's not spicy, but it kind of adds a little bit of a warmth or spice to it. Um, to that floral note. So it's not like, it doesn't have a ginger note in it. Um, it's a ginger lily. So, the dry down with the sandalwood and the cedarwood... It does give it kind of a beachy wood vibe toward the end, but it's not like woody woody at the end. Um, very much a daytime fragrance. Very much a kind of going to the beach early daytime fragrance. It also is very much a floral fragrance, so it's very much a daytime beach floral fragrance. I love this one. I don't love it as much as I love Jay. Um, this is probably my second favorite that she's done because this is a very lightweight, easy floral that I can actually wear without it coming off as mature or grainous. Um, I will say, though, that it lasts forever. This is pro this is an Eau Parfum, I believe. Um, so it does last for freaking ever. Um, when I sprayed this on me the first time, I let it kind of just wear out and see how long it took. It took about 12 hours for this to finally, like, completely wear off it so I couldn't smell it anymore. And I love that about this because it is such a light fragrance when you spray it. And when it applies that you wouldn't think that it would be so long-lasting. But it definitely does last a really long time, at least on my skin. So, definitely, in my opinion, this is kind of a daytime summertime fragrance um it's not very fruity at all so you're not really getting a lot of that grapefruit and the passion fruit from the top it definitely you're getting the green notes and the florals from the heart um i think jennifer said that this is kind of her thought of what the like the beginning of a beach day would be like and that's definitely how i see this if i had to rank them in like the time sequence to wear them this would be the um second one, I guess, because the first one I would say would be, the original Jennifer Aniston would be kind of the, you wake up in the morning, you take a shower, you spray J on. Like, that would be the definite, like, way I would see it. 
Um, and then you're going to go out on the beach and kind of walk and not do a whole lot. You're going to wear um, Beachscape. Um, as the day progresses and you get into kind of the early afternoons, you're definitely going to want to wear J as it's kind of a little bit more heavier, a little bit more vanilla and boozy, and I love that one. That is definitely my favorite J fragrance. But I definitely see that as like an afternoon at the beach fragrance, with near dusk being the nightcap and the finishing to the night. Whether you're going to go home and relax for the night, or you're going to go out to a beach party, that would definitely be the night version of all of them. So, I love, the, love this fragrance. Only downside is I don't like that the ad was used again. Um, I mean, they didn't, like, cut it off like they did with, um, Jay, where, like, it was cut off, like, right here, and there was kind of that hard line. So they didn't do that this time, but I wish that, you know, with all the pictures that we have seen that surfaced from the original photo shoot that I believe this is from, I wish they would have done another photo that they, for the box. So that's just my personal opinion. But I love this picture of Jennifer, so I, it upsets me that it's on the box again, but it's not the worst picture that could be on the box again. So... There you guys go. There is my review of Jennifer Anderson's Beachscape. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A that is Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And again, um, my website link will be in the, glo in, in the description below, www.amongthestarsperfume.com. Definitely check out my shop and get your pre-orders in for my um, custom YouTuber t-shirts. Those are going very, very fast, so I definitely would like you guys to pick them up. So, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.